Okay, so <laughs> technically it is the second day we started this project, or since the project started, I suppose. So yesterday it was just a pre recorded lecture and talking about what we can do. I quite like this brief. From today, when I was in studio and talking to the lecture that we have, like, he was saying that it was a lot more like fine arty <laughs> than you'd usually get in something like, specifically he was saying graphics. Like, I c I don't, I'm not entirely sure who does graphic design, I think he might do graphic design. I might be wrong, just the way he said things that made me think like, oh do you do graphic design sort of thing. But yeah, like, and particularly compared to last, last vlog's one, their one was like design a poster, like they were told exactly like what they had to do, whereas this one's very, very open, which to be honest I kind of prefer. <laughs> I think the thing about this one is like it has a little starting point, but there's not too much around that starting point, like, because I hate it when it's a starting point but then there's these specific things you have to do that you can't really change too much which I felt was kind of what ended up happening maybe I mean to be fair it might have just been me but I felt like that when it came to the first semester like there is kind of felt like I felt like a lot of the time I was working from the middle backwards <laughs> more than I was working from the start forwards which I mean I found it easier to kind of be able to include some of the stuff I wanted to include to be able to kind of plan out my route of like how I would get it to there but yeah like I find this one just a lot more <laughs> interesting so it's about you essentially or me basically but it's a lot more open than just your identity or only you like you can make it into a persona or an alter ego or the exact opposite of you or you know it can be very humorous it doesn't have to be like a self-reflection thing in a way like it kind of does but <laughs> I feel like it kind of you can transform it into something else and have it be your self-reflection of that thing which I really really like about it I think it's <laughs> I've done like identity as like a project like five or six times and every single time it feels just kind of restrictive and not fun because I can't go anywhere else other than me and it was I don't know <laughs> a bit annoying anyway so I wasn't having too much trouble I know there were some people who were having a bit of trouble but I think because you you don't have to just go solely with yourself I think that makes it so much better <laughs> as a project and so much more interesting so um I came up with a bunch of ideas <laughs> I was gonna use I'm gonna butcher her name if I say it <laughs> but the creator of Sailor Moon I was gonna use her because there was one thing that was from a quote and I already recognized the fact that like because it's kind of I think it was something that became viral and then that's why people were like yeah it's, it's not real <laughs> because I remember there being a bunch of the art I believe from the 90s anime and I was a bit like was she actually in charge of that because usually like the main artist wouldn't be the background artist and that's for an anime as well so I don't see if that's quite her style and her like if she was the one who like directed it then fair enough but I, I don't think it was and from what I found out like it was kind of like a fake thing like the person they were like we can't really find anything they found a similar sort of quote but the context was completely different so well not a similar quote the context was completely different like in the quote it's like oh she didn't have any friends so she wrote about these characters who she wanted to be her friends and it's like fair enough she might have wrote about characters she wanted to be her friends but the quote that they seemed to have possibly got it from was about how she would go and talk about things <laughs> with her friends <laughs> including like her work but she did do some stuff based on her personal kind of like experiences and you know the family in the manga and the story is based, you know the characters have the same name as her own family and I believe was it she worked at the shrine shrine maiden I think that's what it's called I can't, I can't remember but I believed, I believed there was a thing where she worked there and then that kind of helped inform like the character choice of Ray. bad with names. <laughs> but yeah, that was one of them. There's also an art gif from an artist called Starapture, I think. It's this gif here, I'll put it up here. It's really cool. <laughs> um, and obviously because the way the gif is done it's a uh, different kind of illustrations made into like a gif so i thought that was really cool and i thought it's an option for something i might want to do later on down the line 
The only thing about it is, um, unfortunately, with art school and stuff like that, they want, they tend to want more established artists. Um, so this usually means if they have done any sort of exhibition, um, you'll need at least like their name and possibly some piece of writing that they've done, even a few quotes on like what their piece was, which arguably I think there is an email for this person so I could easily <laughs> go ahead and email them, but you know, the, the amount of luck that I've had before with doing that, it's kind of like, is it really worth their time? But yeah, I came up with a bunch of ideas, this is just the general idea generation, and then this is me just trying to sort it out a little bit more into specifically what ideas I have. When, because um, the lecture went through the different, the brief in general, and kind of just talked about how to research, because the research obviously with the last one I think had to do with the V&A, so obviously they went to the V&A and they researched about the V&A, so it was fairly simple and straightforward of like, oh you go do this thing and that's what you do. But for this one you can kind of talk about like how to research yourself and stuff like that, but I already had a few ideas that was kind of researching myself, so I think I was alright on that front. But yeah, it was good to kind of like hear that and kind of get better understanding of like how to possibly go into actually doing any sort of research for it. Uh, and also he then talked about like concepts and I think a lot of these are concepts <laughs> and he was like you know do the research first before you do the concepts but um I already have a bunch of concepts. He also did talk about doing like making sure we like look at ideas that aren't going to work first and then kind of are like writing down ideas that even if they don't work like for example like this is me just starting to put everything into a sketchbook like so Oh yeah, this one was just looking at like portraits, like how people were represent- oh, cause- oh. Yeah, representation, this is what I kind of am looking at right now. So, I started off with like, how it's portraitures and now it's selfies, that sort of stuff. Um, random sketch I did. <laughs> it's obviously very, 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 very rough of the Mona Lisa, cause I was like, it's actually, do I want to draw this at all? But then I kind of remembered that like the Mona Lisa, like, I can't remember, like, I don't know if this is a conspiracy or not, but like, I think there's a thing about the Mona Lisa being like, they don't know who the model was that sat for it. And they reckon that it's possible that there wasn't a model and that it was actually like Leonardo doing like a self portrait of like a feminine version of himself or something. I can't remember. I think that was a thing. <laughs> um. But again, that might be a conspiracy. And then I was thinking obviously about like, um, I don't really like taking them because it's like I get lost in like how I look and then it's like I never get a good angle. So I was then like, also some people can be like really, I put culturally like insensitive, like kind of, I don't know if it's quite the right term though. Cause I feel like there's ones obviously like I know of things where it's like, who was it? There was a person who would Photoshop when people would take selfies and stuff and like these kind of pose for photos I don't think it was just in general being in a photo like around those places but like specifically posing and like being all happy in places like you know historical places like Auschwitz and stuff like that and so he would like photoshop these people <laughs> in like photos either from that place like when Auschwitz was still like an active site um, or something else but it was, it was things like that but yeah so I kind of put that in because it's like some people like just aren't really aware <laughs> of their surroundings um to be perfectly fair I do remember a case of someone from my school and um, they went to oh I can't remember where they went to no I can't remember what it was I think it was a uh, yeah I can't remember <laughs> what it was but apparently they started sunbathing on a grave that was very obviously a grave why they were sunbathing it was bear in mind school trip <laughs> like this wasn't <laughs> this wasn't them just like on holiday like this is like a school trip um on a historical site where they knew exactly where they were standing and she still decided to like start sunbathing so i uh, you know some people just uh, their brain cells must just die as they <laughs> walk around because uh, yeah, anyway, but, but those are kind of examples of people just like not really being aware of where they are um, for photos and stuff like that. So I was thinking as well, like when, when I was thinking about that, like, oh, well, how could I represent that? Um, I ended up thinking about the portraits in, I think it's a haunted mansion. I can't, I can't quite remember because I think it's called the Tower, Tower of Terror. 
as well, or that's like the American version of the Haunted Mansion. Whichever one's in <laughs> Disneyland Paris, because Disneyland Paris is the one I've been to. Um, but yeah, those, those portraits were like, um, I have two, two of the ones that I remember because I was, I did go on it like years ago. Um, but there was like the couple with the picnic, I think it's a couple on a picnic, I can't quite remember. Um, but then there's like this kind of log on the front and then it kind of like scrolls down to reveal the snakes. <laughs> the bottom I think is snakes. And then this one where it was like a person in a boat. It might have been a gondola, I can't remember, but then it kind of scrolls down to reveal a waterfall like that. That kind of sense of imminent danger. <laughs> like, so I was thinking like, oh, maybe I could do like a selfie with like imminent danger and then I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> um, how did that show me again? So that was just kind of show the idea and the thinking behind it because I think sometimes I I, <laughs> I was literally like knocking that one off the table immediately because I have so many other ideas that I was like I'd rather focus on other things but um yeah and this is me just starting to kind of go into the more I, I, I said communal but I don't know quite how it is but it's like the general kind of things like star sign and um what year you were born at, like what lunar year were you born in and all that sort of stuff. So I have like the ox and then I have just like Wikipedia I guess so. <laughs> a lot of information is compiled on there and I wasn't really, I'm not looking at this to be like, I want it to be very 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 accurate. I will, I would double check this stuff if I was like, oh yeah I want it to be accurate but I mean also at the same time a lot of the stuff that <laughs> when you like a lot of this stuff is surface level in general anyway when it comes to particularly like I was gonna look at horoscopes as well um things that are supposed to tell you about yourself that's kind of the idea <laughs> behind this sort of thing but yeah apparently there's like a bunch of extra stuff on top of it like I was just like oh the year of the ox but then apparently there's like earthly branches <laughs> and heavenly branches and no I think it's earthly branches Oh no, heavenly branch of fire, because there was like fire, wood, fire, wood, water, earth, and metal, I think. Like, there were five of those, no, there's six of them, there's another one somewhere in there, but I can't remember what it is. Yeah, and there's a cardinal point as well, um, and, and, and ruling hours, there's ruling hours, apparently, between the different Chinese, I didn't even know this was a thing. <laughs> Like again, I think a lot of people just know that they're like they because for me it's the year of the ox, so it's like you you just know that. <laughs> Apparently, mine's a fire ox, but its season is winter, weirdly enough. And there's also lucky flowers. I didn't know like there's there's lucky numbers and there's ones to avoid. There's lucky colors and there's ones to avoid, and there's lucky flowers, which is interesting. Which is there's four for some reason. Um, you think it'd just be like one or two, but no. Um, <laughs> It's tulip, evergreen, peach blossom, and rose. I do know, I think, in, I watched a video for um, Kung Fu Panda and it talked about kind of the cultural aspects and the philosophy aspects. I'll probably link it in the description. I was about to put it up here and then I was like, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> but yeah, and, I, and it talked about, I think, it, was it eternity? There was, there was something about the peach blossom, I believe. Or maybe it might have just been the peach tree in general. It might have been the peach tree, I can't quite remember, but it was about like either eternity or like I don't think afterlife, I think it was something to do with eternity and like affinity infinity. That kind of thing. <laughs> anyway, that's what I have so far. Um I'm probably gonna do a drawing of like a fire rocks down here just randomly. <laughs> um and then I was gonna go onto this one and do all the star sign stuff <laughs> because I found it like I think a couple years ago apparently there's like a whole bunch of things like to do with your star sign like it's like you're you're rising and then I, I quickly looked it up and then it was like oh Leo is in your secondary house like oh, what <laughs> there was also a thing about like all the different planets and then it had like which ones were like Leo and which ones were Virgo and all this stuff and then obviously included Pluto but then there was one called Lilith and then another one something nine I think it was it was interesting it was it was <laughs> certainly interesting um so that's something I probably do like on that full page there 
But I mean, that's just generally for like one of my ideas. Yeah, that's literally just one of my ideas. I was also gonna look at like VTubers as well because that's kind of a way, because again, like with the whole brief, it did kind of talk about idealization and like the ideal version of someone and stuff like that. So it's like, I'm going to kind of look at like VTubers and stuff and kind of go, okay, well, these people are literally like <laughs> still doing the same thing, but they just have like this kind of facade over them. And I thought it would quite be interesting to kind of look at the reasoning and why, because there are some people who do do it for like privacy reasons, which I completely understand. And I do remember there being a whole thing, I can't remember when it was, was it last year? There was a whole thing about like someone's like computer generated facade thing, I don't know if it was a VTuber thing, like glitched or lagged or something during a stream and then it revealed that they were like older than what they were saying they were. I believe it was a woman, I can't remember exactly who it was, but I remember that whole thing and then it was like, <laughs> I mean there's a whole thing as well, that whole thing, but I, I remember that being, you know, a thing and it's something that I feel like has become more of a common thing. I don't quite know whether VTubers is specifically like a YouTube, I don't know if there's another name for like streamers or anything like that, but I have a whole list of ideas, like one of them was do like a book on things I liked, possibly do like different aesthetics because I like different aesthetics and stuff. Then I was thinking about like what if I just do something that's like what if I was a and then like pick things that I'd like to be or even just like a random generator but then part of me was a bit like do I really want to run the risk of me coming up with like you know what if I was a toaster <laughs> like random stuff but then again I suppose one of my ideas is to look at all the those like quizzes are like what kind of cheese are you and all that sort of stuff like just random stuff like that and then maybe compile them and be like that kind of thing some of them are very more information based than others I was thinking as well possibly doing we're not supposed to think of the end <laughs> of things though which is something he was saying like try not to look at like what your thing is going to be in the end and I have an idea but unfortunately like I think it's a really cool idea but at the same time like they're kind of very interconnected like you'd expect to have one with the other so you can't really come up with the idea and not think about doing it in that way so I'm gonna <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna keep that one on the back burner and kind of introduce it maybe later on when I've gone through a few of my other ideas but I will show you more later. Um, I think my plan for tomorrow is I'm gonna work more into this, try and get some of the more researchy stuff done um, and get some of my ideas kind of either on the table or off the table as well. So I might film a little bit then to kind of show you what I've got and then I think my plan on Thursday is I'm gonna work on the essay because I have an idea for what I'm gonna do. But I just want to try and get a little bit more research into it first before I like properly look into it as a part of the essay because ugh, it's just something where I feel like the the way the essay question isn't like bad at all or anything like that I think it's just finding something that's gonna fit with something that I want to do while also fitting with how I need to do it as well so anyway I'm, my plan is to work on the essay on Thursday so I can hopefully start getting that kind of typed up and organized and then it'll be in studio again on Friday apparently we have like a we have something in the media labs I think it's like a photoshop tutorial it's mandatory so we have to go to it even if we know how to do it to be fair I know <laughs> I know the basics of photoshop I don't even know if I know the basics of photoshop I know very specific things to do in photoshop so it might let me know a few other things I can do um which would be great <laughs> So yeah, we have to go to it anyway, it's like two and a half hours, so I assume we're hopefully gonna have like a fair amount to learn from it. And then after that it's studio, so I might come back for lunch and then we'll try to run back into studio again, so I will see you guys later. Okay, okay. So, hello. I think I said I was gonna film like the next day, that didn't happen. <laughs> I basically just worked into my sketchbook a little bit and also started doing the essay a little bit and watched the lecture on the Thursday. Uh, there was a little trouble with the lecture, unfortunately the person who was giving it kept disconnecting and so it meant that we've gone through half the lecture and now we have to do another half. Which, I don't know, I think I think maybe just for me I would have liked to have just gone out of the way. <laughs> but at the same time, like, but that was just me. I think when things first started going wrong. I did see a fair amount of people like leaving <laughs> the thing so like I don't know part of me is a bit like I don't think half the students would have actually been there to see it so 
I understand why they wouldn't want to really at that point. But for today, I kind of went around. I just kind of added more onto my notes for this project. <laughs> Basically, because we're not really supposed to think about what the final is supposed to be, which I do understand, but also at the same time, I can't help. Like, it is all this, it's like you can't really help not doing that, or you, you can't really help doing that. Like, you kind of got to think about like how it looks at the end a lot of the time so while i'm trying not to think about it too much i've still like written down some ideas for how something might look in the final and some of the concepts because if i don't write it down i'm just gonna forget it and i could forget like a really cool concept <laughs> if i'm not careful so that's why i have this here also just to take notes and just make sure i'm like hitting the the research bits that i need to so right now in my actual book I can't remember if I've shown this or not, I can't quite remember, but <laughs> I've done this. So yeah, this first page is looking at the- I think I've already talked about this. I think I have like the Disney portraits and the Haunted Mansion and was like, wasn't sure if I was going to do that. I'm pretty sure I've done it, if not I'll be going over it in the end. Um, then I went over the Lunar New Year Chinese Zodiac thing and it was a lot more stats about the Year of the Ox, <laughs> apparently. So I just did that and did a couple like doodles. And then on this page, on this page I was basically just looking at star signs, so I did like the birth chart thing and then just drew this thing. I, there was so much information there and I was like, this could be good if I really want to do it. Because I'm thinking possibly with this I could technically, because we can create personas and stuff like that, I could technically make a kind of person based off of what it says, even if it's not necessarily true to me, that kind of thing. And I drew a couple crabs because <laughs> it didn't really say like what specific crab is used for cancer so oh yes and then at the bottom I talked a little bit about tarot it's just a couple sentences and stuff basically talking about how tarot like is often seen as like looking into the future or like reading the future but in reality it's not like that most of it is about you so I just put that in there just in case I wanted to take something like the star sign aspect and turn it into tarot or something like that like, so I can mix it in with things, is essentially the idea, because I don't, I don't really want to do tarot on its own, because I've already done a project on tarot on its own, and I quite like how that one turned out, like, fair enough, I could literally do a proper pack of tarot, but <laughs> that'd be something I'd maybe do later on. I have seen at least one, I think there, there have been multiple, like, where, I remember at the DJ Cad degree show, I can't remember which year, I was trying to think of which year, but I can't remember which year. But I do remember that there was like some tarot. It was just the um, face cards, is that what you call them? The main 22 cards. I think it's 22 because there's 21 but there's also a zero. So I think it's 22 cards. Kind of like the fool, the empress, the tower, the devil, the sun, the moon, you know what I mean? Those kind of cards, not the general like cups, swords pentacles and wands not the general kind of cards <laughs> so yeah i also wanted to look at different aesthetics and stuff like that so here i have basically a bunch of aesthetics of clothes that i do have that could fit into aesthetics so i'm going to draw out kind of rough sketches of like different clothes and kind of just take elements that i like from each one like in one of my older projects like this bit where i took a bunch of pottery and kind of like drew out the bits that I liked or even this one which I think is a bit better and showing it where I drew different suits of armor but I kind of focused on different areas and how they looked and that sort of thing I'm thinking of doing that with it and on the one below it I'm going to basically do the same but with clothes that I don't really have and styles that I don't have anything for but I quite like the look of so yeah, I, I might add more to it, I'm not sure. To be honest, I do kind of wish I left a bit more space at the bottom here, but it is what it is. I can easily just like put maybe a corner here of like stuff that I like. Then I was looking at things I like in general. So I was talking about how like I use Instagram basically the same way as like someone would use Pinterest, like liking photos and stuff like that. So the way that I use Instagram is not like liking everything. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's something where like a lot of people who use Instagram or at least I've seen like they do like a lot of stuff but because I use Instagram a certain way like it means I don't really like as much as I probably should or like I hope people don't look at it and be like why well, are you not liking this stuff but anyway 
So I just drew a kind of square here and then the different squares and I'm going to draw these in a bit more each and add a little bit of colour to them. And this is just like the current like top nine that I have. Then I'm going to scroll further down and then get another block of nine and put it here. So it's kind of like the newer stuff that I have and the older stuff that I have. So I can kind of look at like what I was looking at at that point in time. And then I'll just write a little bit about that in the middle. And then underneath this, in this kind of section here, I'll write whatever else I want to write. I'm then going to do a bit of research into VTubers because the whole thing about this project is like you don't have to do it yourself and I'm kind of looking at <laughs> it's interesting because the brief is about you but <laughs> at the same time it's like it doesn't really have to be about you at all it's you can literally say whatever you want and pretend to you and you'd probably be all right with it as long as you did it like well enough that you weren't like obviously lying or the intent wasn't to tell the truth but then you were lying or whatever I don't know I suppose as long as it's a good project <laughs> but anyway I'm going to look into YouTube VTubers and stuff when looking at like the ideal version of yourself or like how you present yourself to other people I don't quite want to go with the classic like oh you put on different faces for different things like I understand that's something that can be it can be very interesting and it can work very very well I just think for me it's something where like I don't want to do it because I feel like I would fall into that trap of like it being kind of generic in a way <laughs> like I don't know I just I'm kind of like hmm I would rather do something else for me I think if I if I were to do something on like that I'd probably end up being like oh masks like physical masks but yeah I feel like with the VTuber thing it's it is different even though arguably it's like a mask but it's like it's computer generation and I think that when I was talking about it to the lecturer today he was like oh that's actually like could be something really interesting to research because not a lot of people <laughs> for his generation or like majority of lecturers would really know about that stuff but it is like a very current thing so it could work really well in the project so that's what I'm gonna do and yeah as I said before it fits into that idea of like the idea of representation of you and like it's a way that a lot of people are kind of achieving it um and I also kind of want to look a little bit into like how it's done because I'm not sure to what extent like I'm sure there are people who use it for like things like roleplay and then there are people who use it for like just in general like like doing this but <laughs> having a, a vtuber like thing avatar avatar that's the word and I can kind of like maybe link it into the different styles maybe even tarot like do different card size things and again like I feel like with this project like I could mix a lot of it together for the concepts but right now I need to kind of complete my research <laughs> so over I think I will do a bit tonight I'm gonna look out some of the clothes that I have and kind of like get them in my head kind of start drawing stuff onto here and then looking up these styles and kind of including them at the bottom as well also I'm thinking about like including like motifs and stuff like that if there's anything I want to carry through like I can look at that sort of thing I mean to be fair I can also if I find something particularly interesting in here that I want to then do further on my plan is I might just get like a like a bigger piece of paper like an A3 or something or an A2 and literally just cover it in like the lots of different motifs like those kind of like collages of like pictures you see they're kind of like normally in this kind of format or this kind of format <laughs> where you know there's like a bunch of pictures together and they're all kind of like dark academia or something like that kind of style aesthetic like I kind of do that but just draw all out because I like doing that <laughs> also and I, I don't really know how to work in printer so <laughs> in TJ Cat, so kind of like eh, I think I'll just uh, do this until I actually really really need to use the printer <laughs> And then also finish off doing these two bits and doing the research in the VTubers before Monday because on Monday it will be looking at concepts. I already pretty much have uh, some of the con like all of my concepts done like these are kind of ideas of how I could take this forward really. I think on this side it was mainly just kind of like looking at things that I could like look at and for me personally sort of thing but yeah I have about five or six different kind of concepts some of them a bit like the tarot like they would be something that I would put together with something else it wouldn't be just that on its own and a lot of them I could kind of mix in together <laughs> to make one idea I also have another idea which I'm not entirely sure exactly how I would execute it might be something that I have a go see if it works and if it doesn't work it doesn't work <laughs> 
but if it works it might, it might, it might do well. I'm really glad that this project like we kind of are able to do whatever it is. <laughs> It almost reminds me a little bit of um, some of the stuff like I see in um, Tiffany's kind of vlogs because she's an illustration major, is that what you call it? I don't, know, major. <laughs> I don't think we do majors and minors over here. I'm not sure, but I don't think we do that. I might be wrong. <laughs> At least with DigiCaddy don't because I think like you get to pick modules, but you're still technically getting like the same degree at the end. It just depends on what you kind of specialize in. I don't think it necessarily changes the degree, at least for DJ Cat in the art school, so I'm not sure, but it kind of reminds me of some of the stuff that she's done because it is like you can do so much, you can do 3D stuff, you can do like a comic book, like a, I don't know, just a bunch of stuff and I, I think that is like really fun, so I'm, I'm so glad I got this brief because I really, really like it. I can understand why people would definitely not like it. I think because for me, I've done identity stuff before, so I, I kind of know what I don't like doing for it and what I do like and uh, what I would like to do for it. So in a way, I'm kind of glad for that, but yeah. I'm definitely excited about this. I don't know, to be honest, I don't really know where all, all this is going. I have like a couple of ideas for like, more 2D than 3D things, but we'll see how everything ends up because I do want to possibly explore a 3D thing if it fits within the theme because we can do packaging as well. So I think that could be kind of interesting to do. <laughs> if I have something like Tarot, maybe I only do like a certain amount of cards and then like a box for those cards to be in or something like that, you know what I mean? Maybe a little powerful thing usually comes with it, but. I'm also going to kind of continue on with my essay again. I'm, I'm not saying I've done like a ton. I basically read through the online articles that there are that DJ Cat has. So I'll need to actually look up pro other on online like interviews and stuff like that. But the ones that DJ Cat have and the books that they have for DJ Cat that has his name in it, they were mainly introductions <laughs> that he wrote. So I took a picture of one of the introductions. The other one I couldn't really find where the introduction was because I like. I was looking through the pages and there wasn't there <laughs> and I was like oh but maybe I just missed it or something like that but and then I also have a flip through video as well of a book that I think would contain it so just basically watching that and gathering more information this weekend to hopefully start forming my plan for it is going to be the basis of it I hope it's going to be good I think the main thing I'm just kind of concerned about is just making sure that I have enough to reference and I also have enough to kind of do. <laughs> but other than that, that's pretty much going to be it. I don't think there's anything else. But yeah, so um, before I went or came back here, I went to the library and had a look. But yeah, like there was, I think really is just a case of like researching on like fully online now and kind of <laughs> gathering my information as best as possible. And then once I have like more of the information in place, I can kind of go, okay. So I have my information. I kind of know what I want to say, but I think the main thing about it is like, I don't know. I don't know. It's just like, I've never really written an essay with an, an animation in mind before. So I'm also going to have to gather like illustrations and stuff like that as well. That's something I need to remember to do. But yeah, I think that's it for just now. So I'll probably see you on either Sunday or Monday, depending on what I'm doing. Oh yeah, I can't remember if I said we had the Media Lab today earlier on, so I went into that. That was fairly good, like there was, it was obviously very basic at the beginning, but then it kind of got into some more stuff that was actually, was really useful. But I understand why it was basic, because you know, <laughs> they have to go into it like that, just for people who like don't know what they were doing and haven't seen it at all, so it's not something I'm griping about it, it's like, it's easy, you can just kind of sit back and relax for a bit. <laughs> And then you can kind of like, okay, now I need to pay attention because I don't know how to do this thing. I kept getting like picked out because of my jacket. <laughs> this is so bright now. Fairly like close to the lighter. So you're like, oh yeah, like your jacket. <laughs> Have trouble printing those colors. <laughs> but yeah, that, that was, that was fairly like insightful. They also gave like a little like pamphlet thing which is nice because I, I will forget how you do have that stuff and some of it was actually useful and I haven't done before but yeah anyway I think the plan for tonight is we're gonna kind of continue on hopefully get some of that drawn up and ready to go 
Um, so hopefully I just have to do VTubers over the weekend and I can kind of bring together some concepts ready to present on Monday. So, I will not like physically present, just say what I need to do to the lecture basically. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you later. <laughs> So I've been trying to kind of show my stuff more because I have to film another couple pieces showing some of my earlier stuff for I think my module 2 video because I forgot to show some of it or I've lost I think I've lost the footage because I don't have an intro to it either and I'm pretty sure I filmed an intro to that one definitely. But anyway, so I think you've seen these two, um, obviously just going into the zodiac but this kind of more what I did today. Well, not today, but over the weekend as well, where it's like, I just drew some of the stuff I had, some of the kind of aesthetics and stuff that I quite liked. And then I did the Instagram feeds, like my newest and oldest, and like likes on Instagram. And then I did the VTuber, I'm not sure who <laughs> the name, but I know it's a Netflix one apparently. Netflix other thing. I'm going to get my um, white paint pen because that tends to kind of dilute the ink a little bit more so I'm gonna do that so it's a little less um weird <laughs> color but yeah that's that's pretty much what I've done <laughs> so far I was a little surprised because I think last time I talked about the whole like con like doing research then concepts then development of those concepts and then the final thing and uh but yeah when he came over and I showed him this stuff and said it was all research he was kind of surprised which I was surprised by as well because I was like I've only done four pages <laughs> not like I've done like a ton of things like I, I could have done a lot more than this this is very very initial like stuff so but it doesn't matter I have my concepts I think now because a lot of this stuff I kind of viewed it as like it's a means to show the concept more than the concept itself but I, I don't know I, I should have asked him what he thought the concepts were then <laughs> if he was like looking at that what I have is like what if I was a and then I'm gonna do possibly like looking at different aesthetics or I don't know crab because that's the zodiac or whatever like do stuff like that possibly even a word, random word generator and possibly bring in the quiz stuff if I want to that's gonna be one of my concepts I'm not sure if I want to take that one forward we'll see how that goes my next concept is the birth chart things so I'm thinking I could do maybe my one and then the complete opposite and then like do something with that possibly design a character do something with that and then I was gonna like look at aesthetics and then create like a VTuber design and an Instagram page sort of thing that could work and then I also had an idea to do the like a VTubers design based on the Zodiac or something like that I also have a bit on tarot because I know that's just in this bit <laughs> paragraph here a bit on tarot because I know that's like it's less about reading your future because like one card is like your near future sort of thing but a lot of it is like your past, the obstacles, the tools that you need to use to get your what you want to <laughs> the most and then best outcome and all that sort of stuff. So it's a lot more about you. So that's something I could do, but I don't know if I said this before, but I thought it was kind of going to be something where it would be how the thing is laid out more than the actual concept itself. So I'd maybe take the VTubers thing as the Zodiac and then put it onto Tarot or something like that in the layout of a tarot court or something like that. Something like that. <laughs> I think it worked quite well. But that's what I have for that project. I'm pretty much just gonna start sketching out a few things for the first concept and kind of see where that goes. Maybe do two pages, like a spread on that and then another spread on the next concept and another spread on the next concept. And then probably from there, see if that's kind of enough. Because <laughs> if I do that first kind of spread and then say, okay, I'm gonna do a spread for each of them would that be like enough of the development to kind of show because he was talking about how you want to really develop you know two or three concepts not just one concept which is fine but it's kind of one of those things where i'm like i don't know how much i'm supposed to develop before it's like okay that's fine that's enough for that because i could really go all out and develop it fully but i think the main thing is the time constraint because <laughs> the point of this week he said was like do the concepts and develop it and then your last week is kind of like doing the final thing and your presentation so I don't know how much I'm supposed to develop of each concept before it's considered enough considering I did you know four pages of, of research and apparently that was a lot of research so it, I'll, I'll figure it out. My plan is to do a spread tonight and then kind of get that sorted and hopefully we can kind of continue on. I think the 
fourth concept. <laughs> I think I think it was a fourth concept. I might swap that into a different one or start out with maybe that third concept with the different aesthetics and Instagrams, the VTuber thing, to then <laughs> create, you know, go into the Zodiac thing where it's like, okay, maybe rather than aesthetics or with aesthetics, I look at like the Zodiac and then allow that to influence the aesthetic I choose for it kind of thing. <laughs> also, this is just my for today. I'm wearing the shorts and the Halloween tights, which you probably have not seen. Um, I'm also wearing the choker. I need to move this <laughs> further back because you can kind of tell on this one, it's not quite right. Okay, no, no, no. Okay, cool. <laughs> I should have paused this video. Oh my god, me. And, like, so bad. Anyway, so plan is I'm going to go ahead and yeah, so that's my plan. Do that tonight and then come back tomorrow about what I did and how that's all gone. <laughs> 